PhD student Nguyen Nguyen has developed a sensor that could help cities avoid catastrophes like the collapse of Minneapolis's I-35 bridge. But when he was working on developing this sensor, then he saw that noise levels were high uh, in the output signal. And then he started investigating the reasons for that noise signal. And during that process, he discovered that there is a physics-based phenomena that can be exploited to design a new kind of sensor. And that became part of his dissertation work. Uh, you can use this in the civil application, like you can use this on the bridge. Nguyen's loop sensor uses fiber optics. It's designed to be placed on the structural supports of bridges, buildings, and even planes to send a constant stream of data about the structure's stability. The sensor is extremely low cost compared to all the fiber optic sensors available at this point of time. It's, it's robust in structure, it can withstand the natural forces, it can go up to high temperature of about 150 degrees C without any uh, problems in operation. But more important is not the, the, the knowledge I learned in this specific field. Actually, the, way, the, the more important is the, how I learned through the research. Nguyen hopes to partner with a company to turn his technology into a real-time monitoring device.